Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today I'm going to be using two macros from uh, our friend Eskimo that makes macros. And this is about the duplicator and the guide. Basically, it's a guideline distance, the distance between two guidelines. There's really no way to do this inside of Corel this quick or this easy. I'm going to bring in a guideline and have it snap to right there. Let me back off and have it snap to. So we need to move this whole thing over this far to make a duplicate. And if you see, you know, we make a duplicate and move it to this line by hand, it fits right in there. So we need to know the distance from that. So we have this macro right here and we're gonna select and hold down the shift key and select those two. And we got 2.55. So we're gonna set the offset to the right, 2.55. Now we need to know what we're gonna do up and down and we need to move this corner to this corner. So we're gonna bring in two indexing line. I'm gonna hold down the shift to get this number and it's 4.42 and you can cut and paste this but we're gonna go up at 4.42. Now we can change and have 15 by 15, so we're gonna, well, let's just leave it 10. 10, maybe you have to type in 15. And, and then select your item and hit apply. And look at that. It nested them, or not really nested them, it uh, put them exactly where they need to be. Let's do this in a color this time, so it kind of shows it off. Let's uh, smart fill this one in with well, I want to use I don't have to for the video, but I always like RGB. And then let's take another color and make it blue and kind of fill this in. Now we're going to select these two and apply and look at that. Uh, you know, there's a way in Corel to do them one at a time, horizontal, then vertical, but not really. That's called step and repeat, and they have a step and repeat here, but this is called array. So I'm going to leave a link to both these video or both these macros at the bottom of my video. And you can change, you know, if you can, there's a lot you can change with this. Um, you know, space between, you know, you could have. Um, a certain distance between them, you know, if you wanted to or whatever. Uh, it's a free macro, so play around with it, download it. Um, anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.